Hey guys, JC here from Whiskey and Waffles. Hope you like the new look, trying out a new camera. Uh, but tonight, that's not the big news. The big news is we are unboxing a Dragons of Takir for Magic Gathering. Uh, there's, you know, some dragons. And uh, let's see what happens. Um, I won't lie, I did try doing a uh, Fate Reforged unboxing. And my phone just decided to uh, to stop recording halfway through. So all the footage was lost, but whatever. I'm not bitter. Okay, a little bit bitter. And uh, let's let's see what we got. So if you don't know the backstory on this uh, set, uh, in Fate Reforged, Sarkhan uh, went back and changed history, found Ugin, and all of a sudden there are dragons back in this world. So let's see what we got. All right. Classic card right there, Negate. Been in about a billion sets at this point. Epic Confrontation. Ooh, it's a fight, but it's a plus one, plus two, as opposed to a plus one, plus one. I like that. All right, free. You know, let's just uh, run through these. The ones that you guys care the most about are obviously are the, uh, the rares and such. So let's see what we got. The Pitiless Horde. Dash, 5-3, at the beginning of your upkeep, you lose two life. Uh, yeah, that's a card I would primarily just dash with, because a 5-3 ain't worth losing two life for at any point. So, cool. Let's keep going. So all of those legendary dragons that were in the last set are now uh, your your golds uh, in this set. And uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty badass cards. Do, 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 do. Ruthless Death Fang. That's pretty awesome. And those are the colors I'm playing right now. I'm playing a blue, black, green. Whenever you sacrifice a creature, target opponent sacrifices a creature. Uh, that's a great thing for um, commander games, especially. Dragon Hunter. Protection from dragons. Okay. I hate white. That sounds terrible. Okay. Four Razor Regents. So the Regents are uh, minor dragons of each of the colors. Flying, when he enters the battlefield, you may have a fight target creature you don't control. So it's an automatic fight. Whenever a creature you control fights, put two plus one plus one counters uh, on it at the beginning of your next end step. So this is for fighters. Hate promo cards like that. All right, let's keep it going. Keep it going. This may be a long unboxing. Go away. Okay, we're skipping right to the Crater Elemental. Crater Elemental, sacrifice it, uh, deals four damage, also has formidable, I didn't even encounter formidable at the tournament, uh, has a base power of eight until end of turn, activate this only if creatures you control have total power of eight or greater. Nice. And by the way, Dijin Monks as a uh, token, nice. Nice job, guys. So, as you guys don't know, uh, because the last video is long, uh, go on, I love Planeswalkers, so... Ideally for me, uh, the win is to get the five legendary dragons out of here, uh, as well as the uh, planeswalkers. By the way, uh, if you notice from the uh, cons of Takir set, that Prowler had different artwork uh, because there weren't dragons in the background. So probably had different like words on it too, but I don't remember what those were. All right, ah, uh, the Dragon Lord Silmogar. I'm saying that wrong, but that's the one I was hoping to get in the uh, the unboxing. Uh, last week. So, very happy already. I got the Mythic Elder Dragon that I was looking for. So, already this box is starting out on the positive. Okay, what else do we have in here? We have a Ration Foremost, Double Strike. Whenever he enters the battlefield, another target gets uh, Double Strike until end of turn. Not bad. Not bad. And a creepy little goblin right there. We'll get to all the other ones at a later time. Okay, the Blood Chin Fanatic. Sacrifice another warrior creature. Target player loses X life. You gain X life. Nice. And then uh, we have a nice uh, foil right there. I just like foils. They make me feel special. Nice artwork on that zombie, though. The Necromaster Dragon. Again, right colors for me. Blue and black. Flying. Whenever he deals combat damage to a player, you may pay two. If you do, put a 2-2 zombie onto the battlefield. Nice. Pretty cool. Uh, I will say, uh, the, the former previous con of uh, the blue, black, green, I can't remember his name right now, so uh, leave hate in the comments for that, but I actually got him during the um, the tournament, uh, the uh, the pre-release, so I'm actually not looking for that one right now. Ojutai's command. 
uh, and this is a, a rare. It's one of these choose two, so you can be very strategical with it. And then just dragon tokens, because there's going to be a lot of dragons in this set. More dragons. Uh, by the way, Palace Familiar saved my butt during the tournament because uh, I was pretty much only dealing damage a lot of times because I had a flyer. So a flyer, super, super valuable during a, uh, a sealed tournament. That's not the right colors for me, but that's a pretty dope looking card. Uh, Profound Journey. Return target permit from your graveyard to the battlefield. Rebound. If you cast this from your hand, exile it as it resolves. Beginning of your next upkeep, you may cast this card from exile without paying its mana cost. Nice. Too bad I hate white cards. They have zero use for me. We have Profaner of the Dead exploit. Uh, when a Profaner of the Dead exploits a creature, a return to their owner's hands all creatures your opponents control with toughness less than the exploited creature's toughness. So that could be uh, a wipe if done properly. Nice. One thing I'm learning by playing blue is it's all about the control of the board and uh, normally I'm like red and green and hit big and hit quick but trying to trying to up my game a little bit. Uh, the Dragon Scarred Beast, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a not great card but it's foil so it's special. Blessed Reincarnation, exile target creature from an opponent, uh, exile target creature an opponent controls. That player reveals a card from the top of his library until a creature is revealed player puts that card onto the battlefield then shuffles the rest into her hand. So that could be a dangerous card. Could. Who? My boy, right here. Asylum Gar. Choose to counter a non-creature spell. Return target permanent to its owner's hand. Target creature gets minus three, minus three. Or destroy target planes or Yes, you are going in my deck. Congratulations. You have won the spot in the deck. At the plus side, at least this is being targeted to uh, to what I really need right now out of this deck. Or out of this for my own deck. Uh, good old Sarkhan. Nice, uh, nice Sarkhan. Illusionary Gains. Enchant creature. You control an enchanted creature. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under opponent's control, attach Illusionary Gains to that creature. So it just switches every creature. Nice. Just gotta make sure the creature doesn't die. Because if the creature dies, then I'm screwed. Because then the enchantment goes away, because the creature is dead. Actually, I don't like that card. Okay, Sunbringer's Torch. Bolster X. X is the number of cards in your hand. Each creature you gain with plus one, plus one counter on against Trample until end of turn. Ooh, and there's my buddy's monument. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Ooh, we got a nice one. We have a, uh, a foil uh, rare right there. Exile target multicolored creature or multicolored enchantment. Uh, and along with that, the Clone Legion. For each creature target player controls, put a token that is a copy of that. I love this card. The casting cost, pretty high. But the ability to clone somebody's entire uh, battlefield and put it on my side, I am all about the bad things of that card. Nice, right? Right? The Iron Shaman can't be blocked except by two or more creatures. Has Megamorph. Eh, whatever. Not an exciting pack right there. All right, Foul Renewal. Turn target creature from your graveyard to your hand. Minus X, where X is the toughness of the card returned in this way. Oh, okay. No, actually, that's good. That that does it to more than just him. I read it wrong. Ah, uh, Dromako's command. One of the, the other Elder Dragons. I need more Elder Dragons. We're, we're a little light on Mythics. I got the, the one I wanted the most, but not seen any Planeswalkers, not seen any of these other Elder Dragons yet. Wally, by the way, got his target Elder Dragon in his uh, uh, packs at the tournament. Legendary Creature, Anafenza, Kintree Spirit. Whenever another non-token enters the battlefield, bolster one. It's, that's a Wally thing. He loves tokens. He loves plus ones on tokens. They hate plus ones on tokens. They need to go away for forever. Okay, we have an avatar. Avatar of the Resolute. Reach Trample uh, enters with plus one counter on it for each creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter. I will not be playing that card. Ojatai's Breath. Foil. Doesn't mean anything, but still foil, because foil's pretty. Alright. 
Surak the Hunt Caller. Formidable 5-4. Not bad. 5-4 for 4 with a with a with a formidable. That's a that's pretty nice. Right. Alright. Exile top cards from your life until me and you play those cards. Brave. Interesting. Don't know what I would do with that just yet, but some cool stuff. By the way, love that card too. Ooh, insect is pretty dope looking. Alright. Uh, the Deathbringer Regent. This I actually did get during the uh, during the pre-release tournament. I did not get to use him though, but it's pretty cool. Flying when he enters the battlefield, if I cast it from my hand, and there are five or more creatures on the battlefield, destroy all other creatures. It's kind of a prick card, not gonna lie. Uh, I got one of the other Dragon Lords. Uh, Dragon Lord Atarka. Flying Trample when he enters the battlefield. It deals five damage divided the way I choose against any number of target creatures and or planeswalkers. And he's an 8-8. Eight, eight. So he's a pretty diesel-ass card right there for for only seven. That's a great, great Dragon Lord right there. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Are you digging it? Okay, so we got two Dragon Lords, no planeswalkers. We're about the two-third mark through this box right now. Alright, Radiant Purge. Exile non or target multicolored or multi didn't I have that already? I feel like that's familiar. Seems familiar. Yeah. Alright, Volcanic Vision return target instant sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, when it deals damage equal to that card's converted mana cost to each well each creature your opponent. That's a again, pretty diesel ass card. Get you a sorcery or instant back and deals converted mana cost damage? Yes. Uh, and then Surge of Righteousness. Destroy target black or red creature that's attacking or blocking and gain two life. Not bad for just two. Ooh, we got the uh, next Dragon Lord, Ujutai. It's your, another mythic. I think I might be screwed on the Planeswalkers at this point. But got three Dragon Lords so far. So happy about that. This one, uh, he's hexproof as long as he's untapped. And whenever he deals damage to a player through combat, look at the top three cards in my library, put them onto my hand, and the rest, put one into my hand, rest on the bottom of my library in any order. So that's a great control card right there. I'm a fan. <laughs> the Dragon Lord's Prerogative. As an additional cost to cast Dragon Lord's Prerogative, you may reveal a dragon card from your hand. If you reveal a dragon card or control the dragon as you cast it, Dragon Lord's Prerogative can't be countered in draw four cards. Okay. So if as long as I got a dragon, which this is a dragon based set, you can draw four cards that can't be countered. See the use of that, definitely. The Damnable Pet. The target player <laughs> Target player draws X cards and loses X life. Oh wow. So yeah, if you just have a spurt of mana, you could just break somebody with that. You could kill either their um their cards or their library or their uh, their health. So yay to that. Living lore. As living lore enters the battlefield, exile an instant or sorcery from your graveyard. Power and toughness is equal to the exile card's converted mana cost. When living lore deals combat damage, you may sacrifice it. If you do, you may cast the Exile card without paying its mana cost. And again, great control right there. Uh, obscuring Ether, and I love that they use a little like uh, a special uh, symbol right there. Face down creatures cost less one to cast, uh, and then I could turn it uh, face down, and it becomes a two-two creature. So it's a card that can become a morph, sure, but it doesn't know how to morph back up. That's weird. Oh, look at the goblin. That is an ugly goblin. That is a really ugly goblin. I just want to point that out. Right. Gleam of Authority. Enchant a creature. Creature gets plus one for each plus one counter on other creatures. Creature has Vigilance and Bolster one. Uh, then we have uh, Kolagon's Command. Choose two. Return target creature from your graveyard to your hand. 
Target player discards a card, destroy an artifact, or it deals two damage to target creature or player. Kind of weak. Uh, we are down to the final three packs. Final three. Oh, look. Classic Mine Rot is back. Target player discards two cards, but check out awesome artwork on it. Right, Berserker's Onslaught. Creatures you control have double strike. Yes. Again, that awesome zombie. Uh, so we're going down to the final two. I think I'm SOL on the Planeswalker. I think it might be the case. Okay. Oh, no, see. I go and I say something stupid like that, and then I get the broken card of the set. I get Sarkhan. And uh, for those of you that don't know, Sarkhan's unbroken. One of the Planeswalkers. Uh, for the cost of green, red, blue, and two. Uh... For four, uh, four devotion at the start. Uh, draw a card, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Sure, free mana. Uh, minus two, put a 4 4 dragon, red dragon specifically, onto the battlefield. And minus eight, his ultimate. Search your library for any number of dragon creature cards you control, put them onto the battlefield, and then shuffle your library. Congratulations, you have broken magic. And then the final pack. Just look at all resupply, hand of uh, Solngar, my boy, death touch, yeah, death touch, hardened berserker, territorial rock, gummar drowner, tread upon, whatever, summit prowler, the net, that net sucks by the way, that doesn't do anything for me. All right, and then the final rare harbinger of the hunt, green, red, three, flying. 5-3. Spend a little bit, he deals 1 damage to each creature without flying. Spend a little bit, deals each two, 1 damage to each creature with flying. So that is our box. Uh, thank you guys for joining me on our first ever Magic the Gathering unboxing that I didn't lose all the footage on. Uh, make sure to come back to Whiskey and Waffles. Check out more of our content. I'm sure right over in this area here. Uh, we have more unboxings. Wally's been doing a ton of unboxings, uh, and they're going to start rolling out more. We're, you know what? We're just going to create an unboxing playlist and put it right here. Uh, subscribe to be our drinking buddy. And then over in this lovely region right here, uh, how about some Loot Crate Wars? Yeah, some Loot Crate Wars. And uh, right below it, I'll put some collaboration videos too. Get everything going. Thank you guys for having me. Uh, you know, it's been been great. And... You know, now I'm going to sit home on a, a Friday night and, uh, and edit and play with magic cards because that's sad. <laughs>